just needs a bit of love. Hi there folks, welcome back to the channel. So next episode of uh, the Adventures with Rosie, or more to this point in this video, we're going to take a look at the uh, one of the spare engines, we're going to pull the sump off. If you haven't watched the last video, I'll put a link below. Uh, yes, we had a run in boots. I think she needs an ignition service. Anyway, let's go take a look at this engine folks. So this is the one that we intend to rebuild. It's, uh, it's a 1943 engine, so quite period for the carriers. And we have the spare engine here. This is the one with the cracked engine block. What we're going to do today is take the sump off and take a look inside. Hopefully we can uh, remove the pistons, get the crank out, cam out. Any parts that are useful to uh, rebuilding that one. So on that bombshell we'll get you sat down comfy and we'll get this sump removed. Right, I've been around and just made sure they all actually do crack off. I'll use this little whisk popper to get them all out. Mm -hmm. But each one is going to get stuck in the socket. Oh, all nice and oily. Very oily. No, no, when these will last out because they're all painted over. Yeah, they've never been off. Being oil is a good sign, just hope it is inside. Right, that's, uh, that's ready to come up, folks. So, let's see what's inside. Oh, ew. 
Take a closer look. A bit of rust in there. Kind of expected. Hmm, I've seen a lot worse. Yeah, when engines were made properly all split pins and things. Yeah, I've seen a lot worse. Right, I suppose on that bombshell, we could undo some connecting rods. And look, it does. It says in the Humber car book that it floats. And indeed it does. You can see she's a bit gummed up. Smells of old engine. Yeah. Right, I suppose we can get some split pins out and see if we can knock some pistons out, folks. Right. Let's see if we can get all these uh, split pins out. This might be a long job getting these out folks. They all seem very stuck. What I'm going to do is I'll get the split pins out and bring you back so you're not uh, getting bored watching me fumbling about folks. Alright, that's all the split pins out. Uh, I've cracked off these as I've gone, so we can literally wind them off. I'll do the two that at the bottom. The tapping device. Just to get them started. In the yeah, there she flies. Yeah, 
And when I let go, see that folks would it I don't know there's a few scores on it but it doesn't look that bad all right can we that crank doesn't look bad at all can we yes again I've seen a lot worse folks all right can we push the piston out the top that's the question Should fit just. Or do they have to come out down? Yeah, they can't do, surely. There she flies. the length of the rod. Hmm. They should clean up quite well to be fair. Tap them rods back in. Put the shell back in. together folks and keep them all together in the right order not that they're going back into this block but yeah, look at the length of the bloody rod there that is huge it has a 120 millimeter stroke which is quite long to be fair Right, next one. Number six. Again, not that bad at all, folks. I'm uh, quite surprised. So, push. Yeah, it's stuck is that one, let's just give it a little help. Folks, just protruding out the top. Just wonder if there's a bit of muck. Thanks for to wipe your hands. I 
Yeah, she flies. Number six, pop her back together. Interesting, that says number two on it. That also says 40. I wonder if the bearings are standard or undersized. Yes, and she's been rebuilt at some point. So, I'll put number six there. Right. That doesn't look bad. Right, we'll rotate it round again, folks, and uh, yeah. so it was number five, I do believe that was the rough cylinder. We'll get the uh, we'll get that one out. Another one that doesn't look too bad. Now this was the cylinder with all the rust in, so how well it'll come out is anybody's guess. Push it back out. So far so good. in hand. Right, we're right at the top. that one there she flies yep. well, I've seen a lot worse rings are stuck in but that's kind of expected Pop it 
Nem tudom, hogy érde. Again, it's just pushing the uh, rod bolts through. Not the end of the world. Again, I've seen worse. You get fed up with me saying that. Right, up you go. Thought that one was going to push right out. to this one. Oh. Ah, she's stuck and she's almost all the way out of the cylinder, folks. A few scrapes on it, but those rings are nice and free. And as you can see, we've got two oil rings and two compression rings. Not bad at all, uh, especially considering the ridge. Again, big end's not too bad. Get that for now. It says. That was number two. Alright, 
right, just need to rotate it round, get these two centre ones to the uh, to the bottom. Some bloody thick classy oil off my hands. Sorry if this is a bit boring folks, it's a bit long-winded. Left the shell on there. Come here. Don't know the history of this engine, but the shell bearings are not bad. Bolts push cleanly out. Right, what's stopping this? Let's turn that rod bolt out before it falls out. Strange design. Interesting. The counterweight up there actually stops the piston from going round. So I'm going to have to rotate the crankshaft around to uh, release the piston. Yeah. Move these two together, I'm afraid. Oh, she's tight. Take the engine, I should be able to get the crank webs out of the way. Thing. 
Sebi mora okur. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad at all, folks. Obviously, we need to measure them all, but uh, so far, so good. Right. One more to, uh, to get out. Ow! Not my finger. Just protruding. Mm -hmm. nice, I suppose I could. Just use that to hold it up a bit. Well, this one wants to be so awkward. Yeah. 
Let's do the chin. Interesting, I can't see if the other one fits. Where's he gone? Anyway, it's that silly sort of. Well, there it is, folks, the last one out. I'm going to leave them covered in oil for now. Helps protect them until I clean them up. Well, that's all six pistons out. Next up will be the crankshaft, and the camshaft, cam followers, the valves, and anything else that would deem uh, suitable for the, uh, the serving. So. Let's take a closer look. Well, folks, that's the uh, the pistons out. You can see the camshaft in there. Doesn't actually look that bad. The crank itself doesn't look bad. The pistons with the uh, connecting rods that are almost two weeks long, they are long rods, they don't look too bad and you can see on there folks, there's a, o -Z a 0 2 o, suggesting these are 20 thou oversize. And I know this one is on a standard bar. So we have options, we have options. Looking at the sump there, I think actually we should take the uh, the sump off Rosie and give it a clean out and an oil service. She also wants an ignition service just to make her run sweet. But yeah, that's uh, I think that wraps it up for today. And on a positive, we've got some uh, useful parts. Well folks, that's it for this video, if you made it to the end, thank you very much, it was a bit long and boring. So yeah, it's, uh, it's looking good for uh, spare parts out of the donor engine. We'll get the crank and camshaft out next, but that'll be in the next video. And then we'll move on to, uh, on to this one. So on that bombshell, thanks for uh, watching, liking and subscribing. Uh, you can support the channel, you can do the membership, or simply just share these videos, folks, and comment and like. That gets them noticed by YouTube. So, catch you on the next one.